Hello, my name is Diana Morris from Educare Company. Today I'm going to learn English language and our topic of today is locating things. So I'm going to look how to locate things in different areas of in different things. By starting, look the following pictures and read the sentences under it. We are required to look the following pictures in our board and then to read the status under it. As you can see the pictures we have drawn here, under the pictures there are some sentences which have been written. So after looking at our pictures, we are required to read the sentences which are located under each picture. By starting with the first letter A, there's a picture here which we offer a table and a textbook or a book on the table. The second picture is a boat floor which has been, which is on the floor. By starting with the sentence under the first picture, says that the book is on the table. We see that this book here is on the table because it has been located on top of the table. So we say that the book is on the table. And the second one says that the bottle is on the floor. This bottle has been kept on, it has been put on the floor. So we say that the bottle is on the floor. The main thing which you are considering here is on because the bottle has been put on the floor and the textbook here or book has been put on the table. The second letter is letter B. There is a ball here and the bag and in this bowl there are some eggs which have been put in the three eggs and here in this bag there is a ruler which has been kept inside the bag the sentence below these pictures if we start with the first one says that the eggs are in the bowl as you can see there are many eggs there are more than one so we'll add eggs in order to put it in the plural so it says that there are eggs in the bowl, in. This says that the eggs are going to put inside the bowl. So that to say the eggs are in the bowl. In is different with on, which we put something on another thing. But in, we, look, we put that thing inside that thing. For example, as we can see here, we have, give, we have been given that the eggs are in the bowl. So they have been kept inside the bowl. The second picture here says that the ruler is in the school bag. As you can see this picture here, we have been told that we have been shown this ruler has been kept inside the bag. So this in is the one which shows us that this ruler has been kept inside the bag. The second letter is letter C. As you can see we have a table and shoes under the table. There is a chair with a ball under it. And the sentences you under this picture, we start with the first one, says that the shoes are under the table. The shoes, there are more than one shoes. That's why we have add ES, so that we, we have add S in order to be in plural form. So it says that the shoes are under. This under shows where the shoes are or where the shoes have been kept or put. So it says that the shoes are under the table. So the shoes here are under the table. It shows where the shoes have been located. And the second picture in letter C here, the word C says that the ball is under the chair. As you can see in our picture here, the ball has been located under the chair. So this under is, is the thing which shows us where the ball has been kept or the ball has been put. Even if the picture here, we can see that the ball has been kept or has been put under the chair. After looking at the C, let us look at D. The D here we have been given a table with a book on it and under the table there is a basket with some oranges inside it the first sentence here said that the book is on the table 
The book is on the paper. So you can see in our first letter, letter A, there are some sentences and pictures which have, we have seen, which states where the things have been located. And we have used the word on in order to see that the book, all those things have been located on another thing. For example, in letter A, you have seen that the book is on the table. This book has, has been put on the table, and as well as in letter D, the book has been put on the table. The second one is the basket is under the table. As you can see here, if you come in this picture of a table, under it there is basket. If you remove this one, just first of all, there, there is a basket. This basket is under this table. So we say that the basket is under the table. So under it under help us to know where the basket has been located or has been put in this table. The third sentence says that the oranges are in the basket. Where does the oranges are? If you come in this picture, here is the basket, but inside the basket there are oranges. So we say that the oranges are in the basket. This all shows us how to position things in different places and how to read the sentences which state or which shows how things are located in different places. After seeing how to locate things in different places or areas, let us see our next test which will mark the end of our lesson for today. We have been told that use the words in the box to fill in the blank. We have been given the words in this box which are under, in, on. As you can see here, we have discussed the use of on, in, and under. And in this exercise, we have been taught to use the words in this box which is under, in, on, and on to fill in the blank spaces which have been provided in our questions. We have three questions over here. Before answering our questions, let us look at these pictures here. If we start with the first picture, the first picture shows us is a cardboard with the cut inside the cardboard. The second picture you can see there there is a table and a bowl. Table and a bowl. The third picture there is a table and a school bag on it. The first question you have been told that the cup is dash the cupboard. You will go to the first picture of our exercise and look where does the cup be located in that picture. After you see all after you know where the cup has been located, you go direct to the box and choose the correct answer which will help you to complete the following sentence in question number one. After finishing the, the question number one, let us look the question number two which said that the ball is dash the table. Where does the ball is? Go and look at the second picture where there is a ball and a table and see where the ball has been located. You can come and refer to the examples which have been seen in our first page here in order to guide you or help you to answer the questions which have been given there below. After looking at the second picture, you will see where the table is and where the ball is. After seeing that, you will go there to the box below given and choose the correct word, which will help you to fill or to complete your sentence in question number two. After finishing the question number two, you will look at the, second, the third question, which says that the school bag is dash the table. The school bag is dash the table. Which one do you, do you think will fit in order to complete that sentence? Before answering this question, go directly to the picture number three in order to know where the bag is and the table is. Because there we have shown there is a school bag and a table. So you will see or you will look in order to see where the bag is located and where the table is also located. And that will help you to answer the question number three by going back to the box and choosing the correct word from that box in order to complete your sentence in number three. 
After looking the excess below, this marks the end of our lesson for today. Thank you.